I wasn't really down to earth Mm -hmm. then. I was just trying to make more friends, like the numbers. (laughs) And then after like a year or something, like I realized I actually didn't have many friends. Hello, everyone. (laughs) (laughs) Hello. Hi guys, welcome back to another video podcast. This is Misa. This is Yuka. And welcome to the Misa, Misa Yuka podcast. podcast. <laughs> so today we have a really cool topic. <laughs> An extremely cool one. And we're going to be talking about friends. Ooh. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> You're a really good friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry. So yeah, I want to talk about friends because like because like I don't know, like I don't have you say I don't have many friends. <laughs> well that's because you say <laughs> you don't have many friends. <laughs> I'm just repeating after you. Uh, yeah. And then, like, you say you have a lot of friends. I don't say I have a lot of friends. I say I hang out with friends. Right, right. And then you say, like, I don't hang out with friends. Yeah, because you don't. (laughs) I do. I do. But, like, I thought it was, like, really interesting to, like, kind of, to see, like, the different types of friends. And, like, also, like, talk about what kind of friends, like, we think we are to other people. Yeah. You know? Because... Because, yeah, and then also, like, after you graduate from college, I think, like, the network of friends that you have kind of, like, decrease and also change, too. Mm-hmm. I feel like you're not, like, always with the friends, mm-hmm. like, you know, like, what since, I don't know, like, from your childhood or something, mm-hmm. right? So, I feel like, yeah, I feel like a lot has, like, changed. And also, like, after you quit your job, too. Like, the people who you have used to hung out with, Mm -hmm. like, you don't really hang out with them anymore because, like, I guess you're not in the same community. Right. Right? So, like, I don't know if you have felt that. I mean, you still hang out with your... Yeah, I do. But I feel like every, every, you know, era, you know, Uh like, elementary school, middle school, high school, college, and then what is that? Like, the The gray zone? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Um, or after college, like work. Uh-huh. I feel like every um my friend group has changed every single time. Wow. And it doesn't really like con- continue. continue. Yeah, me either. Is it is us? it is that good? Is that a good thing? Is that like but you know, like some of my friends, um uh-huh. like what yeah, some of my friends have like or like our hometown friends, I feel like they have like their friendship is very long. Yeah. Like, they've been together since they were, like, five, and they still hang out with each yeah. other. I feel like, like, we don't really hang out with, like, our, you know, childhood friends, like, that much. Yeah. Or, like, we don't really also, we're not, like, super tight-knit either. Yeah. Is that bad? Do you I think that's bad? I don't know, but I feel like the problem may be us. Yeah, I feel like so, too. I mean... It's not like every time it changes, you know, Uh the friend group, but Mm -hmm. some, you know, some friends kind of, you know, um, they transfer to your next era. Right. Like they're your continuous friends Mm -hmm. and you like still keep in touch. But I tend to, you know, not keep in touch with them. Right. I also, yeah, I feel like I kind of like, this is like a really bad, you know, way of saying it, but like update your friends kind of like. Yeah. I don't know. This is like a. (laughs) updating (laughs) it's not like a software update or something but i feel like i subconsciously do that and i don't like hang i don't cling on to like old friends that much yeah but it's really nice to have them yeah it's really nice to have like i mean i feel like we have a variety of friends because i have like you know the the current friends you know the new friends that you just met and mm-hmm. then you kind of like click because you have like the same you know interests or mm-hmm. like you know 
um, you also have the old friends mm-hmm. like that you have clung on to, clung on to, mm-hmm. and like that you have connected um, for a long period of time, and they're kind of like your comfort friends, right? right. And then they're your like super duper close friends, yeah. Who you only have like one or two of them, probably mm-hmm. that you can like go to anytime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you have like the rest of your <laughs> friends who have kind of like long gone or like they're just like out of reach but you still kind of know them yeah right but you don't really talk to them they yeah. see your instagram stories yeah you know they sometimes like your instagram stuff mm-hmm. but like you don't really you're not really you know connected to them yeah. as much as like your current network of friends right you know did i define it correctly I guess so. Like, so the new one, I mean, the old ones, the new ones, the... The the, old ones. (laughs) (laughs) The close friends. Yeah, the close friends. And then the others. Yeah. Yeah, I think those are the only ones. Yeah. And I feel like, yeah. And I feel like, so I feel like, you know, in college and stuff, and like when you're like younger, you want many friends i had this phase in high school okay where i was so awkward oh in high school yeah and like, right you know like yui like our we have an older sister yeah she was like really mean to me and she was like oh yeah misa's really and i knew that i was awkward mm-hmm. because i was trying to make friends <laughs> what that doesn't make sense i don't know like i just wanted to like be accepted right you know into like you know we had that dance group mm-hmm. and like we wanted I wanted to be accepted into that dance group so I would I would be like this most awkward person and kind of you know when everyone's laughing like I would like ha, 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 like laugh together mm-hmm. and like that kind of like and I don't think I wanted to do that mm-hmm. but when you're young you want to fit in and like you yeah. want more friends so I used to do that yeah and I was like the most awkward person ever and in college i wanted more friends right <laughs> and so right and i i was so at um uc berkeley i was at um i was part of like a dance team mm-hmm. so like and there's there's like over a thousand people in the dance community mm-hmm. at berkeley and there's just like a lot of a lot of people mm-hmm. that you can be friends with right <laughs> so i was like yes i'm gonna make a lot of friends so I, like, sacrificed, like, you know, like, maybe, like, some community events or something to just, like, hang out with, like, more of the my dance friends. Mm-hmm. And kind of, like, I, I felt like I wasn't really down to earth mm-hmm. then. I was, like, I was just trying to make more friends. Like, the numbers. <laughs> wow, the numbers. Yeah, okay. the numbers matter to okay. me. Okay. And then, but, like, after, like, a year or something, like, I realized I actually didn't have many friends. Because they just slipped through, slipped right through my hands. They were, they were actually the so-called superficial friends <laughs> that I made. <laughs> that... How did you not realize they were superficial? <clears throat> well, I don't know. I was just like, I was just trying to make, like, I was just like the happy, like bubbly uh-huh. person. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. Oh, but yeah. then I didn't have that, like the the close network of friends. I think I just made the the friends that we just defined, right? Like the just the friends yeah. i didn't make like the closer network of friends um or like the one or two friends that i yeah. actually really mm-hmm. needed for like emotional support and i think like that those friends are like the most important you know like the people who are always there for like the one or two people. yeah like even though if you don't have like many friends if you have that one or two friends who you can actually go to like I don't know like anytime and they're always there for you and also like you guys have similar values so like mm-hmm. your way of thinking is very similar I don't know like about the like um interest the interest part but like perhaps like those closer friends have similar interests mm-hmm. with you so like those kinds of friends are like the most important I think and I, yeah. I realized yeah. And so I stopped hogging for friends. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like high school and like college is really different. 
in how you make friends and like that's true in high school like it's it's high school is hard i think high school is so hard high school is so but once you get into college Uh uh-huh friend making becomes so much easier what is that i think it's because high school so in the states it's more of like you go to the high school that you're like your house is closest to right but so anyone can go right Mm -hmm. but when you're in college it's like you have to have this like certain amount of academic abilities <laughs> <laughs> to get in, right? So the brains are different. Oh, no. Uh, no, it's like, and also like interests are different. Right. Right. Like you go to a certain college for a specific interest, mm-hmm. right? Like you go to like your, you know, college, like San Luis Obispo, to, if you like horses. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I don't think so. It's like, <laughs> they're <just> really. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just kidding. Like, so, you know. Like, if you like architecture. Okay. Yeah. Like, if you want to, like, for you, it was, like, more of architecture, like, landscape design or something, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, those people come. And then also, you're also placed into majors, mm-hmm. right? So, like. That's true. I feel right? like. I like, feel so like similar all, like, people. the similar, similar. You start getting grouped. <laughs> Yeah, like if of, you think about it, yeah, my entire school they were so down to earth. Yeah, seriously. they were like so chill. Like everyone was yeah. like so similar <laughs> to yeah, me. Yeah, no, because like yeah, because like people go to that place mm-hmm. for a specific interest. Like you go to like you don't go to UC Berkeley to, I don't know, to chill. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, you kind of go for, for like, like the. Tech. the like the Silicon Valley, like the yeah, like all like the, the competitiveness and stuff. Like yeah. I feel like for you, if people go to slow, like if you if they like the slow life. <laughs> if no, like if you like life, the ocean, right. if you like the mountains. mountains, um, but everyone was very chill, and they were like so like, uh, they were all about like health and well being. <laughs> Yeah, like for UC Berkeley, it was more of like anxiety and how to <laughs> cope with anxiety and how to cope with like mental health problems. Yeah, so it's so funny how like the places you go to, the environment you go to, you yeah. meet different people. Right. And no, then yeah. so definitely like friend making becomes a little bit easier mm-hmm. once you meet people with similar you know, interests. Right. Yeah. It's easier to talk to too. Yeah, so that's why I think it's easier. Yeah. In but college. You st- but I, I had this problem of being like super a superficial friend in uh-huh. high school. Oh yeah. Like, I felt like no, because like I felt like you were you were in like a clicky group. You were I was in a clicky group. Yeah, like so I think I was more of in like a calmer group. I wasn't like I feel like I saw you as like, oh, you're being accepted by like the popular kids. <laughs> yeah, and I, I would never be accepted by the popular kids because I was like a nerd. But like I saw you as like you know you're hanging out with like like a clique of friends all the time. Mm-hmm. But maybe like because you didn't really actually fit into that group, mm-hmm. you felt like kind of superficial. Yeah, it was like a click, but I did not click. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know you did not click with them but you like you kind of like it was just like a way it, it's like um it's a way it's a coping mechanism <laughs> it's a coping mechanism yeah it's a coping mechanism it really is in order for you to get through high school yeah you know you just need someone yeah definitely <laughs> i mean that's not how i went through high school but like yeah. But you do need someone. Yeah, you do need like, someone. Like, you don't want to be alone. Right? Yeah. People do not want to be alone, so they try to find, they grab onto the closest people <laughs> <laughs> that are close to you. Yeah. I just wonder, okay, like, how, you know, in high school, there there were, like, superficial friends, mm-hmm. but you can still see, like, a um, group of friends who are, like, really close to each other. Like, right. tight-knit. Right. So, how did they do that, you know? Yeah. Like, how were they able to find so much, like, yeah, connection connection while I was being so superficial? I don't know. Because 
the people back home they're still like really good friends yeah. like you said so i think they're just maybe really similar hmm. you know and since like we're here now in like tokyo and stuff and like we've had we're, we're kind of like like at home we would be a totally like japanese family and stuff mm-hmm. it's really different right like that right. culturally too and yeah so i feel like that's it like mm-hmm. we were just like yeah i feel like those people were like really similar in their like family background like how they were like brought up and stuff but, like i feel like um we were kind of brought up differently because we had to go to two schools and you know we would not be able to go to slumber parties on fridays because we had to do homework like japanese homework i know so i yeah that's true i feel like we sacrificed a lot of our childhood <laughs> yeah that's why like i want to just break free <laughs> yeah <laughs> like i wonder what it would have been like mm-hmm. to be able to hang out with you know your friends on Mm -hmm. a friday night to go to be able to go to those pool parties on like the weekends Mm -hmm. to be able to hang out after school like a normal person but we never did that yeah we never did that yeah i I wish i did that actually i feel like if i if i experienced more of like hanging out time with friends when i was a kid Mm -hmm. i would be more comfortable hanging out with people now yeah yeah i feel like i'm just i'm actually not really comfortable hanging out with people but i think that's because we never really had a lot of time to hang out with people yeah, when no, we were kids I, I think that's it like the slow time yeah like the the nothingness of the time when you hang out with people i'm really not comfortable with that wait that is so true i feel like we're unboxing something yeah oh we are yeah <laughs> i feel like that's like one of the primary reasons probably because yeah. we like never hung out with people that it was so like to be to have not have to but like to be hanging out with people like when we are like older it feels like a little forced yeah it does yes. um something that we seek for yeah i know but we used to hang out a lot though I know, we're like with each other. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) it's like it has not changed. I know that has not changed. Like this is like so normal. But to like go out and like find new friends. That is not normal. Like put your. (laughs) I think it's so normal for like normal people. Because like if you think about it, everyone probably um, who only had to go to one school, one language school, Mm -hmm. they probably know how to make friends because they like you know were hanging out with friends right but we never really did yeah we never did yeah that yeah so yeah that's oh, why that it really feels... connects but yeah i don't know like oh and then also like since we had we we were doing a lot of things out like extracurriculars mm-hmm. outside of school and so we were always kind of like busy right so yeah. we don't really we didn't really have like normal like free time Mm -hmm. where we might want to go to the park yeah or like we want we just want to hang out with a friend at their house Mm -hmm. for the whole day and like kind of try to find something to do you know like i feel like because we didn't really have that like now i feel like every hangout needs to be like efficient (laughs) (laughs) like productive (laughs) Like, if that's, like, you know, making, like, content (laughs) together or, like... Please give me the goals and agenda of this hangout. (laughs) Like, so what are we establishing (laughs) today? That sounds like I'm such a bad friend, but, like... um, But I feel that way. Like, I just feel, like, like, if there... If I don't find meaning in that hangout, I will not go. Right. You know, like, if I feel like it's Mm -hmm. the same for you too right if you go to a couple of hangouts with a group of friends and if you don't find that time meaningful and if you don't find that time like that that time has helped you to become a better person like you wouldn't go for, for the next hangout that's true right yeah and so like but i feel like maybe that's the same with like a lot of people mm-hmm. i feel like people 
you know, like whether that's like, you know, doing nothing with friends is if that's therapeutic for them, like they would do that. Like they mm-hmm. would still hang out because like they find that really meaningful. Yeah. You know, but like if you find like something meaningless, like you wouldn't, you wouldn't like try to take that time to like hang out with them again. Yeah. You know, but that's why like, I feel like, and then like now, like, um, since we're getting like older, <laughs> like mm-hmm. we want to like pick our friends now, right? Right. Everyone's like, like everyone's choosing their friends. Yeah. Right. And that's a good thing because like we have so much time. Like we have, we only have like twenty four <laughs> hours. <laughs> yeah, we only have twenty four hours. Everyone is given twenty four hours a day, and so it's like a waste of time. If you think that's a waste of time, mm-hmm. right? So yeah. that's what I am like saying yeah that's true and i think i'm right <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true right yeah i don't know but i don't know if that's right but that's how i feel yeah mm-hmm. i think that's true thank you <laughs> <laughs> i mean i feel like you should be choosing your friends um, right? your friends but but like um yeah. And then you're really lucky if you are able to find that like one or two friends um who are your closer f- closest friends. I feel like it's been it's harder to find your closest friends once you get out of college. Yeah, that's it's- true. But like that I actually like people say that but I actually don't think that's really true. Really? Yeah, I feel like as you get more professional with like or like more clear with what you want to do in life, I feel like as you start doing that, you also attract people who have like similar mindsets, Mm -hmm. you know, and then like you can connect there. But that's only because you have the social media, you know? Right. So um... actually, no, like I feel like um, like in my closest friend, I didn't really meet her through social media. I met through her through like a friend of a friend you know yeah so i feel like um i feel like you don't really need to use social media either yeah i know but it's really rare yeah i think it's rare actually yeah like to be see it's like a friend of a friend right so you have to meet the friend first (laughs) in order to meet yeah your close friend who was a friend of a friend so i guess like you do have to be part of like a community kind of still to be able to like meet new people yeah yeah because you also have, yeah, you also have, like, so we have listed out the types of friends, the superficial friends, the the flaky, <laughs> the flaky friends. Okay, but we also have the community friends. Yeah. Like, you're, if you're part of, like, a, maybe, like, a volunteering community or, like, um, maybe, like, a biking community or, like, a community with, like, a similar interest, it's really, I think it's a lot easier Mm -hmm. to make friends because, like, you guys already have the similar interests. Right. You know? So, like, like, after college, I guess, like, in college, it's more of, like, your, I don't know, like, your friends who you kind of connected through just college. But after college, like, it's maybe it's important to find community friends like having a community Mm -hmm. that you're like you don't have to be like super a part of it but like just like a part of it so that you can still like meet people who Mm -hmm. have the similar interests you know yeah community yeah that's really hard to yeah i know like Like with co with covid and everything i feel like that whole community kind of like shut down mm -hmm. and like now people really can't find like the communities right and to be connected with like hobbies yeah it's kind of hard to find like community friends yeah unless you're on social media yeah Uh, but also like on social media i heard like you can like find like you know like a community page or something if you like biking or like if you like to do maybe like rock climbing you can find those like group of friends like online yeah yeah like that's how i yeah that's how i like figure it out because i want to do some like volunteering and there's a lot of like like a lot of groups within even within tokyo too. to do volunteering yeah and there's like different types mm. of like people and then you just have to find the right group mm-hmm. but but yeah, like with like 
community friends is like hard to just meet offline like just out of the blue but i feel like if you use online tools you can definitely meet community friends right which is like it's which is like assuring you know yeah like it'll help you yeah that's true yeah that's how i think so yeah i know yeah it's like hard but yeah Mm -hmm. what do you think like you're like what kind of what kind of a friend do you think i am and what kind of friend do you think you are the type of friend you are Uh (laughs) uh-huh am i the flaky one (laughs) (laughs) unstable (laughs) unstable like a fish like a fish um i feel like you're a mix of a lot of things oh no i'm not a sincere friend i think you are a i don't know maybe like a (laughs) coming so there's this like type that we have figured out the come and go friend (laughs) The who the friend who comes and goes yeah literally comes by and then goes and then like yeah i i i don't know i think that can be kind of true like i feel like because because i i feel like i have like a set schedule all the time mm-hmm. i'm like doing things kind of like on my own so i feel like um but i do want to like you know still meet up with people so i come to the place mm-hmm. and then i go right and then i and those are like i don't have time to you know like go to like like hang out with my friends all the time you know Mm -hmm. like when you're an adult Mm -hmm. (laughs) you really don't have time so and then i go and then i like do my stuff and then maybe like two weeks later i meet up again and then i go right i'm a come and go friend (laughs) (laughs) i I don't know what kind of friend I am, but I this is what I want to be. Okay. I want to be like a friend who um who people come for mm-hmm. when you when they need when you. they need me. Like I, I feel like as I, like a, yeah. as oh as I like for like comfort, that. not like for you know like a, they want something. From yeah, you. they want something more yeah. for like a comfort or like to um seek for advice or something like that. yeah i think that's really cool i think like that's how what i seek to but i feel like that is kind of the person you are right no i don't know i'm not so sure hmm. i feel like you're like the type of friend who everyone kind of wants to be friends with but like you have this like intense vibration and so they kind of get scared what is the in i don't have an intense you kind of like I don't know. You said that it's, to me like two days ago too. You have this like, it's like it's a cool, it's a cool like thing that you to have an int. <laughs> yeah, you seem like kind of cool. I feel like the evil villain from like a Disney movie. Yeah, no, no, like you're you look kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, and like you're really like fashionable and stuff. So everyone's like, oh my god, I want to be friends with her. But then you're also kind of shy. <laughs> It's, I swear, it's my childhood trauma. (laughs) Yeah, I was, but yeah. Yeah, so I I don't know, you were pretty shy, so. So I don't know. I like tried so hard, after like coming to Japan though, I tried so hard to like put myself out there. Yeah, I see that you open up to a lot of like group hangouts and stuff. Like I don't, but um, you do. I know I opened up to a lot of like, or I showed up to a lot of like community events and stuff. Yeah, you show up a lot. See, I'm the person who doesn't show up, and people are wondering where I am. <laughs> like, come and goer. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like, but like, come and go, like in a and like not a negative way though. Yeah. Yeah, you just like, um, like very like on uh just like i feel like the coming goers also have coming goer friends yeah so it just makes sense at the end of the day yeah because both of you guys are just you know coming by and going by but like but like when you come together like you have a deeper connect deep connection yeah yeah so but like while while you're away 
you're also kind of like thinking about them to an extent yeah yeah definitely (laughs) yeah i always think about my friends to an extent yeah yeah but i feel like i'm like a really cool friend (laughs) i think i am i think i'm a really cool friend too. to have if if i really like that friend I'll be like buying stuff. Like I'll be like always be like, oh, maybe she'll like this, or maybe he'll. Oh, like this. is that why you buy stuff for me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I like funny. to buy things. Yeah, you like to buy me cookies. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Isn't that nice to buy someone cookies? Yeah, that's true. Um, it's like nice to receive. For me, I feel like if you're my friend, mm-hmm. um, like or like to my friends, I feel like I am like their biggest cheerleader. Mm. Like I, people tell me, like um, they get energized talking oh, that's to me, cool. like all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's very cool. <laughs> yeah, and so like I don't know, like. I like for the people who are like around me right now like I feel like I would not I would never like drop them even if they kind of drop me are you sure yeah I'm sure really like I wouldn't like I wouldn't be like oh my gosh like you know like even if I, even if I say like what the heck like like things that they do to me are like what the heck Unless they drop me first, I wouldn't drop them first. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think you would drop them. I think they- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they would, would drop, drop me. First. They would drop me first. But would you drop That's them fine. even after they drop you? No. Like, if they come to me again, I'll still be friends. I'll oh, be like, wow. Okay. That's beautiful. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's it's fine to drop me. Like, you know, it's fine. <laughs> But I wouldn't really drop them. And if they come to me, come back to me again, and they're like, they need help, I will mm-hmm. help them. Wow. Yeah. What a good... Is that efficient? It's not efficient, I think. It's like the most inefficient thing ever, right? Yeah, I feel like it's but really I'm just toxic. Ineff- I'm just really inefficient. That's... Yeah. <laughs> it's not really toxic. I, I think, think so. it's re- that's really toxic, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, okay, I'll help you and okay, no. Well, to have a friend who would drop you is uh-huh. kind of like, is that even a friend? No, they're not friends, but if they, <laughs> if they need help, I'll help them. Okay, they're just yeah. like a person. Yeah. Like, if they drop you, yeah, they're not your friends, but like, if they come, if they really need help, and then they come back to me again, I'll like, help, I'll be like, okay, I'll, I'll forgive you, <laughs> and I'll help them. Really? But I wouldn't be like, oh, they're my really close friends, but I'll just help them. Mm, like, superficially? Not superficially, just, like, as, like, a person, you know? Mm. Definitely. Interesting. Yeah. So, um, so I'm the come-and-goer friend. (laughs) And you're the really cool friend. (laughs) That's not a category. (laughs) (laughs) Made in the moment friend. Oh, yeah, an era of friends. Yeah, those are, like, yeah. Yeah. So, like, I guess... Yeah, but I'm, like, I'm enjoying, like, my friendships I'm making in Japan, too. But I feel like a lot of my, yeah. But, like, since it's, like, yeah, since we came, since we grew up in the States and we came to Tokyo, it must have been kind of, like, you know, difficult to make friends, you know, because people who have been living here, they have, like, their childhood friends and stuff. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of my close friends, too, like, they're living in, like living in LA or like living in Europe. Yeah. You know? So and then I'm living in Tokyo. So everyone's kind of like similar. So everyone's like everywhere. And I guess like yeah. the more you hop around the world, mm-hmm. the less like community like tightness you can experience. Mm-hmm. But you also find like who are your actually close friends yeah. who you are still connected with. Yeah. Like regardless of the distance. That's yeah. Yeah. So Yay, all the friends that I have right now. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and so, like, um, yeah. But I f- friends are really important, so. Mm-hmm. We just want to talk about it. Yeah, and I hope I can, I hope I can become a better friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm, like, such a bad friend? No, I didn't say that. 
yeah but i i hope i can become a better friend to the friends that i have or the current friends yeah same yeah so yeah okay so um we're gonna finish this episode thank you so much for watching until the very end um i don't know like if any of this like related to anyone but i hope it maybe does and um so yeah we're gonna like just finish it yeah okay all right so i hope you guys are having a great day and a great life and i'll see you guys in my next video bye, bye. see ya